How often do you take a shower? Every day? A couple times a week? Howdy folks, Trace here for D News. I come talk to you every day, but I don't shower every day because I don't like the dry, tight feeling of my skin. I don't have body odor, but I don't really use antiperspirant. I just use deodorant. Am I gross? I don't think so. Turns out I might be on the right track for overall human health. Back in the 1880s, bathing was becoming more popular, with many in high society choosing to bathe as often as once a week. After World War II, daily washing of your two square meters of skin became more popular, and today, some people shower multiple times a day. Is this necessary, or is this excessive? Anecdotally, a good friend of mine told me that she only shampoos her hair once a month because shampoo strips your hair of its natural oils. She says the monthly washing works for her, but it took time and effort to learn, and by the way, her hair looks amazing. When it comes to washing your skin, it's a similar idea. Everyone is different. However, all human skin is made of layers, and the extreme outermost layer of the epidermis is the stratum corneum. The stratum corneum is your body's first line of defense. It's made of skin cells coated in lipids from your body's two million sweat glands. It keeps bacterial and viral invaders out and moisture in. The skin also produces dermacidin, which is naturally antibiotic. Plus, living on the skin are helpful bacteria, fighting any bad invaders of their microcolonies. Yet another reason not to use antibacterial soap unless you've been around sick people. Showering, especially in hot water, will mess up this valuable part of your body's defenses. Hot water softens the lipids and undermines the natural oils, dermacidin, and your bacterial friends. Not only does this cause the skin to dry out, it can allow a path for invading cells. And Dr. Richard Gallo, chief of the dermatology division at UC San Diego, says showering too often can ruin the healthy balance of your skin. If that's not enough reason to explore bathing less frequently, a paper in Emerging Infectious Diseases says showering and bathing actually increases dispersal of skin bacteria into the air. This allows the spread of microcolonies from your skin onto other people. Surgeons are asked not to shower immediately before their shift as to keep their bacterium to themselves. Maybe instead of shirking the shower free, we should start snuggling up on them. Actually, there might be something to do that, guys. Pheromones and other natural scents are thought by some scientists to attract mates. So washing them away could be messing up your game, brah. Some of you might be thinking, but what about body odor? Science has no blanket rule for personal hygiene. Some people are more active, which requires more washing. Some people's bacterial profile makes their sweat smell more. Sweat actually has no odor on its own. Regardless, the best way to find out how often you should shower is to experiment. Try not washing your whole body, and instead use a washcloth or baby wipe on your underarms or groin and your feet, all areas with lots of sweat glands. See how your skin feels and explore other options for showering without soap or use dry shampoo. Are you hitting the shower too much? Would you change your routine? Let us know what happens if you try. Tell us your results down below and make sure you subscribe. We recently moved Twitter handles, guys, so make sure that you haven't been bumped by checking out at DNews on Twitter.